Finally, let's talk about how you can make something like this. We've got a multicolor logo embossed onto a curved face. It's not the easiest thing to do, but it's how you can effectively get any image onto a curved surface where the outside surface is completely smooth. For this example, I'm starting off with a white cylinder and our logo as an SVG on an offset plane. Now to get started, I actually want to duplicate this white cylinder. So I'm gonna go into the browser, into the bodies, and I'm going to be selecting our cylinder and then typing Control or Command C and then V. This is going to be copy and pasting it. And when we click OK in the dialog box, it's going to be placing a duplicate in exactly the same location. But to keep track of which part is which, I'm gonna go back into the browser, click and rename this duplication. And we're going to be renaming it duplicates. Perfect. Then I'm also going to be clicking the eye icon next to it to hide it. Now to get that embossed effect, I'm gonna go into the create menu and click on the emboss tool. Now this is a very simple dialog box and it's just asking me what are the sketch profiles that I would like to emboss. Well, that's going to be this ring, this gear and this letter C. The faces that I would like to emboss onto is going to be the round cylindrical face. And just for a reasonable number, I'm going to be setting the depth to negative two. This is going to be an emboss cutting. Now we can click OK. Now here comes the really tricky bit. Currently, I've got my original white cylinder with our logo that has an emboss cutout. But if we go into our browser, I also have that original duplicate cylinder. And what I'm gonna do is actually combine them together, which will leave me with that white cylinder that has the cutout and all of the sections of the logo where those two parts overlap. So I'm gonna go into the modify menu and I'm gonna click on combine. But instead of combining the two parts together, I'm actually going to be changing the operation from join to cut. Now the target body, this is going to be the duplicates. Then for the tool bodies, I'm going to be clicking on the original. And the most important thing is that I want to have keep tools checked. Now you'll know that you've done this correctly if the entire cylinder is that transparent red cutting and the logo or the image that you actually want to have embossed is sticking around. And when we click OK and we check out the browser, we can see the original white cylinder and all of the pieces of the logo that will map to the original curved surface. Now that we've got our file ready to go, I'm gonna show the original cylinder, go to File, export and change the name to emboss multicolor logo. Remember, we want to make sure this is a step file, although 3MF also works. Make sure it's set to the right folder and then export this. 